in this video we're going to have a look at an amazing budget Android tablet and this tablet is actually called the Arnova 101 G4 now the 101 stands for 10.1 basically it's a 10.1 inch screen tablet and it came out in May 2013 which is about two years ago now so it's running on Android 4.3 Jelly Bean uh, let's go for the dimensions here actually it's 10.8 uh, inch by 6.1 inch and by 0 0.5 inch so that's 0 0.5 inches is the thickness so I can go ahead it's a very nice camera we got the front camera here uh, front camera is okay actually it's not all that but it's reasonable it's only for a tablet so we've got 10.1 inch as I said and display resolution is 1024 by 600 pixels and it is a TFT LCD screen isn't the best touchscreen I'm going to admit but you can't ex really complain with the price of this tablet it's actually just around £50 and it's got a live poly, uh, live poly more battery which is actually pretty good because when this tablet came out there wasn't many live poly batteries out there so the processor speed is 1.6 gigahertz and it has a dual core CPU yeah unfortunately it's only dual core and it only has one gigabyte of RAM so the processor is a dual core ARM Cortex processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. So we can go ahead and we're going to play a video here on YouTube. Yeah, the videos are in 720p. Go ahead and show you that here. There it is. Max you can do is 720p. Now um, the screen isn't that bad but it's just the viewing angles isn't the greatest on this screen. The camera on the front can actually do 1080p, but uh, again, I wouldn't really recommend it being a good camera. So on the sides, we actually have a micro USB port and a mini HDMI port, and also a 3.5 mm headphone jack. But I'm going to show all that a little bit later on in the video, hopefully. So the connectivity it supports is obviously, of course, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and it also has gyroscope sensors. So, let's go ahead and play a little quick game here. Oh, I really hate adverts. God, as you can see, it's it's quite a slow tablet. Look, um, you can see it crashes sometimes, but that's probably because I've got quite a lot of things on there. You can probably see I've got loads of stuff on here. So, games do run smoothly, actually. Obviously, if it's a really high, high-end game, it's not going to run as smooth. But simple games like this run actually pretty smooth, and it's fun to play on a big screen. There you go, got a goal. So you see the point anyway. It does run smoothly. It's just sometimes it does lag, and crash. I've actually uh, installed Google Now Launcher on here. I didn't really like the launcher installed on there, which was the pre-installed Android Jelly Bean launcher. It was really, like, not nice. It was stock Android launcher. So I installed the Android 5.0 launcher, which is Google Now Launcher. So now let's go ahead and do a Antutu benchmark test on here. Let's see if it even loads it up. Okay, it's not even loading it up. Oh, it is. I um, got some information here. Here is the front front camera is zero point three megapixels, which is really bad. I mean, the front camera is not good at all. The processor is thirty thirty two bit actually, and the memory inside. I didn't actually go for the memory inside. It's one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes inside. So let's go ahead and do this benchmark score I'm gonna pause the video and we'll be right back okay so the benchmark score was 14,598 which is reasonable it is reasonable for as you think about it it came out in 2013 and it was a budget tablet that came out in 2013 so it's actually done pretty good I mean that's not bad for a tablet that came out in 2013 but it just shows how technology has improved 
so drastically in over just two years we now have 4k screen tablets 2k and stuff like that and like octa-core processors so I'm going to go ahead and search one of my own video here look at my smartwatch review video there you go first one there so as you can see the speakers aren't the loudest but they're okay you know it, it does the job the speakers they do do the job So the speakers are on the back, as you can see, two speakers there, on the back. We have Arnova 101 G4 written on the bottom. Go ahead on the top sides here. We have the volume up, volume down button, power off, power on, also on, lock and lock. Got a headphone jack there, we've got a reset button next to the headphone jack. We've got LED indicator. We've got a charging port, micro SD card port. HDMI port and two micro USB ports and go ahead and show you the speakers properly there they are I was going to say there's only two small speakers on the side so it's, again it's not the loudest but it's okay it's not too bad the great thing I love about this tablet is you, you can connect it straight to your TV with a mini USB cable, mini HDMI to a HDMI cable, you just plug it into your TV and you can watch your actual tablet screen on your TV straight. So anyway, here's my video. As you can see, it does play it fine. So yeah, it's, this is a great tablet. Um, I think it's really good for kids especially if you want to buy a cheap tablet for your let's say a f 8 year old, 10 year old son just to play games or watch YouTube videos then this tablet is good and it's even good for stuff like drawing and just small things you know you can't handle high end stuff now I'm actually impressed it got a score of 14,000 uh, it is a dual core processor so I'm actually impressed about that I really thought it would do something like 10,000. So there you go, you can see we're running on Android Jelly Bean. Unfortunately, there is the option to get system updates, but I guess Arnova decided to do no system updates for this device. As you can see there, look. Your product is up to date. So that's that's a big letdown, you know, it would be nice to run on Lollipop on here. Or even Kit Kat at least, but So you let's just go through the settings on here. It's just a normal Android tablet really, but it has no Bluetooth. So I think I said in the beginning of this video that it had Bluetooth. So it doesn't have no Bluetooth. Which I guess is a letdown for some things, but not a lot of things. So this is a great tablet. I give an overall score of 5 out of 10.